Hello beautiful people I am Ashwini an artist and a designer from India welcome to today's class today we are going to paint a seascape it's an aerial view of seascape i i know you can clearly see the picture this is an aerial view of the seascape so the colors we need for this uh, painting are bright blue turquoise blue indigo sap green and a dark green burnt sienna burnt umber and white Here I am using the book from Irish Paper. It's 270 GSM, 100% cotton book. It's an absolutely great book for watercolors. And I am using these two brushes, and I really love those brushes. One is a mop brush from Rostro, and another is an Artisans liner brush from Artisans Art. So this is the last week's painting which we did. So I have taped down the paper right now. We will have a sketch. It's in the middle of that uh, paper. You can draw it like an amoeba actually. It can be of any shape. No, no matter what the shape is. Just go with whatever you want to. So let's apply water to the region outside that pencil sketch. So here I am mixing a turquoise blue and bright blue plus a little, little of white. So I have added a little bit of white and uh, to create a lighter shade of the blue. So let's apply this color, blue color to the uh, complete region. You can just add a coach blue itself. So let's apply indigo color to the corners as well as to the border side of this island part. So let's apply it completely. So this book is absolutely great if you can see the how the uh, color blends it's very very beautiful actually so now i have mixed a bright blue and indigo together to create a darker blue you can add actually persian blue instead of this Actually, I'm changing my brush. I like uh, that brush I have used is a liner brush, so I am taking out Princeton uh, size number six brush right now. So let's apply this uh, indigo color randomly, like uh, here and there, as you can see. I'm applying it completely randomly. So let's do that.
So I'm just darkening the edges by adding indigo directly. Now let's wait for it to completely dry and then we'll uh, paint on the island parts. Now that it's completely dry, let's uh, paint on this island part. In the middle part, uh, we'll add sap green, darker green and to the outside the part, we'll add burnt sienna. So now let's apply water to that island part. So now let's take sad green and apply it randomly to the middle region. Now I am taking burnt sienna and applying it. It's a lighter version of burnt sienna. It gives a uh, feeling that there are rocks to that uh, region. So here I have mixed indigo color with the green color and I have uh, created a darker value. So let's add the darker color, darker brown color. Now I am adding indigo color to create more depth to it. So now let's wait for it to completely dry. 
so now it has completely dried so now let's add uh, dry brush strokes to the rock region using um, brown you can use a burnt umber or bandicoot brown So I guess that's it. We'll be adding this uh, ocean forms using the dry brush techniques. You can use white watercolors or white gouache. Here I am using white gouache. So now let's add this white forms using the dry brush techniques and complete it. So I'm again adding a little bit of dry brush strokes uh, to the rock region. I fed a little incomplete over there. So now it has completed. So now let us remove the masking tape and see how our landscape has come up. Just look at that. I really loved it. Hope you also find it beautiful. So do give it a try and do share it in your social media handles and don't forget to tag me because my Instagram ID at September Flower. So I hope you enjoyed the process video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday with another tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.